The word impossible does not appear in Elon Musk's dictionary. Why? Recently, he created Starship 2.0, a larger and more powerful spaceship than the one previously created, which is the largest and most powerful in the world. Why does SpaceX need such a big rocket? Join us for more on Elon Musk's new Starship. Don't forget to turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of their latest news. This new generation of Starship was built by SpaceX in less than two decades. From Mellon Musk's dream of a greenhouse experiment on Mars to the launch of most of US SpaceX's rockets, the company now operates the world's most powerful rocket, the Falcon Heavy, while still owning one of the most active rockets, the Falcon 9. SpaceX regularly launches payloads into orbit for commercial companies, including itself, and for government institutions such as NASA US military counts. Also SpaceX, among its launch partners, transport supplies and crew to the International Space Station. This collaboration is likely to become much deeper in the years to come. SpaceX plays an important role in NASA's missions to the moon and beyond, but besides helping NASA and the Army, what is the main purpose of SpaceX and Elon Musk in building this new Starship? Even after owning the most powerful rocket ever, it has never become an obstacle to doing even more things. The Starship 2.0 that Musk is having built will certainly help him make his dreams come true. The versatile billionaire has already achieved a lot, but his most ambitious goal is to found a colony on Mars and settle people there permanently. But it's not child's play as Musk's plan calls for transporting roughly a million people from Earth to Mars. We cannot send a million people to the hostile environment of Mars, so we must indeed prepare the environment for their arrival. A starship should be able to put about 100 tons into orbit, albeit in low Earth orbit. SpaceX can now build one spaceship per month, and each booster and spacecraft will be reused hundreds of times, significantly reducing costs for space travelers and transportation. The payload standards required for a mission to Mars, Musk calls the holy grail of space technology. Although Starship 2.0 would require four times as many engines as the original, also 120 to 150 Raptors for Starship 2.0. The structure would only require twice as much steel and double the heat shielding. Ring handling and stacking tasks would also be doubled, though largely automated. Thus a Starship 2.0 could be noticeably cheaper than its four predecessors when fully assembled. Starship is taller than the Statue of Liberty and is also larger than the Saturn V rocket that sent American men to the moon during NASA's Apollo mission. To give us an idea of the size of the Starship, it will be over 120 meters taller than the Statue of Liberty when fully built. In addition, it is almost twice as powerful as the Saturn V and with a diameter of 9 meters, making it larger than existing orbital vehicles. This will make it possible to transport large amounts of goods for a large number of passengers at the same time. When the Starship is launched into orbit aboard the booster rocket, life however changes when both halves of the ship leave Earth's atmosphere. They separate at the edge of space. As the spacecraft continues to spin, the super-heavy rocket that propelled it into space spins to and near its launch site. The launch, however, will not go down directly as a giant tower equipped with mechanical arms called Musk will grab the descending rocket and gently and the spacecraft. It will also lay the canister on its side in Earth's atmosphere, restarting the engine shortly before landing to turn vertically for a soft landing. The spacecraft has undergone several upgrades before it has even made an orbital test flight. For example, SpaceX has worked on the Raptor rocket engine that takes over spacecraft propulsion, currently developing a version of those engines with higher thrust and easier to build and cheaper to produce the Raptor 2. This will power SpaceX's rockets and the Starship, as well as huge boosters. Each super heavy booster will be powered by 33 Raptor 2 engines, while the spacecraft will be powered by 9 Raptor 2 engines. The financial ramifications were incredible and are even more so with the new Starship thanks to its reusable technology. The rocket system is less expensive than the Falcon 9 despite its size and power. 
based on Musk's Starship launches. It may only cost $2 million each, compared to $62 million for a Falcon 9 launch. So imagine Starship 2.0 getting bigger and more powerful. There is no other option than the massive Starship 2.0. Now let's compare Starship 2.0 with the original Starship, which is up to eight times larger than the current model. Elon Musk says that Starship 2.0 will have a diameter of 18 meters, that is, more than double the 9 meters of his mask ship. In fact, Musk wants to increase the size of the ship because there is none that satisfies. The original Starship design had a diameter of 12 meters before it was shrunk, which shows that Musk is not content with shrinking and wants to go further. One more thing about rockets is that they are built according to proportions. For example, after having doubled the diameter, the height must also be adjusted. So let's say SpaceX is increasing its current height of 120 meters. Starship 2.0 is 240 meters tall, which will be multiplied by the volume of the rocket. However, the new size is the same as the iconic Woolworth building in New York and three quarters the height of the Eiffel Tower. Based on this calculation, Ship 2.0 could carry up to 1,000 tons of goods every month. If SpaceX had kept the previous format of the vessel, it could potentially carry 300 tons each. This is a great improvement, since the storage capacity would have been tripled. Of course, it will take more Raptor engines for Starship 2.0, so we could see more than 100 engines each launch. That's why SpaceX is looking to bring back the cheaper and faster to build Raptor and its successor, because they'll need it soon. The most powerful rocket ever imagined was the Six Dragons built by Robert Truax in the 1960s, which could lift 550 tons in one go and is 150 meters tall but it was never built. With Starship 2.0 being significantly more powerful, one thing is for sure, it will get built, as Musk has a different goal for the rocket array. To date, launching a million people to Mars with Musk's current spacecraft can send about 100 people at a time, so he would have to make about 10,000 trips to complete his mission of inhabiting 1 million people, which is the cost of transportation would increase considerably. However, with the updated version of Starship 2.0 it is possible to send up to 1,000 people at a time, reducing the number of trips required and the cost of transportation. It is said that there is another hidden spaceship besides Starship 2.0 and that this technology is possible. Realize that my Musk has already accomplished the impossible before she is known as Warp Engine 1. The warp engine is a fictional space propulsion engine that allows a ship to travel faster than light. The ship will not have to travel faster than light in a local frame of reference, but navigating distances by compressing the space in front of it and expanding the space behind it results in faster than light travel for a normal object in space, time. Neil deGrasse Tyson, astronomer and scientific authority, seems to believe that it is possible to create a faster-than-light warp drive. If this happens, it will shape a new future for humanity. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so you don't miss out on your latest Telen update.